right, so you've finished your annotations and you wanna upload them to Manage Back. Now I'm going to show you a video tutorial on how to do that. I've already uploaded a step-by-step -step instruction with pictures, but I thought videos are better sometimes. All right, so you have your um, multiple pages of annotations here. And some of you just went ahead and took separate pictures of of each page and then uploaded each individual picture. But the problem with that is then they're uploaded out of order and sometimes you miss a page and then I have to open up each individual page to make sure that you did all of your work and it would be so much easier if you had it all in one file. So take your phone and you can still take pictures. So I'm going, oops, there's my camera. Okay, so I'm gonna get centered over the page here and take a picture of all my pages. And please do this in order. Make sure there aren't any shadows either because sometimes the shadows make it hard to read your work. So here's the third page. Get as close as possible without cutting anything off. And then I'll also show you how to use the scanner app as well. And then here's my last page of annotations. Okay. Now, once you have all of your photos, you wanna to go to your photos app. All right, and now I'm going to select all of my photos here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna press my little send button there. And then I'm going to click on copy photos because I don't wanna upload the JPEG files separately. I wanna copy all of them into either a Word document or a Google file. So I'm gonna to go to my Google Docs, since I know you guys like to use Google Docs. And we're gonna start a new document here. And yes, I'm going to retitle this, chapter 11, section two, um, annotations. Of course, you guys already uploaded those, but that's what I just, so there we go. Now I'm going to paste all of those pictures. Looky there, they're all pasted in order. That way, when I'm checking your work, I get to just scroll through every page like I do when I'm walking around the room. All right, now I'm gonna check that and then I'm gonna click on these three dots up here, share and export, and then send a copy. And look, can you see? There's kind of a glare. It says PDF, because that's what we wanna upload it as. Okay. All right, and now I want to save it to, I'm gonna save it to files, and I'm just gonna save it in downloads. And so it says chapter 11, section two annotations, save. Um, okay, I'd already saved it before. Anyway, all right, so now I can close out of there, and now I just need to go to Manage Back. So go to your Manage Back app, and then, hold on. So you're in Manage Back, you find your Dropbox for Humanities, which is right here. And then your Dropbox is gonna look a little bit different, but when you click on the Dropbox, um, you'll find a place where it says Choose File. So I'm gonna click on Choose File. And then since I, it's don't go to your photo library because you don't wanna upload the photos. So I need to browse. And look, it's right there in my Recents folder. Okay, and so now it's appearing next to the choose file button. It says chapter 11, section two annotations, PDF. And that's the kind of file I want. Now it's not uploaded until you press the blue button at the bottom. Mine says add resource. I think on the student manage back, it actually says upload file or something of that sort. Once you press that button, then you've done it. So once you press that button, it's complete and then you've uploaded your file. All right, now. If you have a scanner app 
Some of you used a scanner app, but you scanned each individual page instead of, um, and then saved it, saved them separately. So I used all of these and I really like the Genius Scan, but there are plenty of free scanner apps out there. So same thing, let's go back here to my annotations. Go to page one, because remember we're doing this in order. All right, so I'm gonna click on this button. And then again, I'm gonna get over the document as much as I can and then click on that button. Okay, and now I'm not gonna press done until I've scanned every single page. Okay, so now I'm gonna get above this second page, make sure it's centered. And it went sideways, that's okay. That happened to some of yours as well, but that's fine, I can still read them. All right, get above that page. And then the fifth page right here. All right, now I'm gonna press done. All right, so now it has every single page of the annotations saved in one file, okay? Now, see how it's just a whole bunch of numbers up there at the top? I am gonna click on that and rename it. Chapter 11, section two, annotations. And that's nice if you rename it because if you upload your annotations separately from your handwritten notes or separately from any other assignment that I give you for that week, um, if you have them named separately, then I know that you've uploaded everything, okay? Some of you uploaded your notes along with your annotations and that's totally fine, okay? Um, but you could, you could write there chapter 11, section two annotations and class notes or notes. And then I know it's all there in one document. So rename. Alrighty. So now I'm gonna get out of there and same thing, go to manage back. I'm gonna, let's see, I'll just go to the calendar. Hello. Here we go. Manage back's not working. Manage back. All right. Manage back. Classes. I'm just going to pick one here. Dropbox. And then when I go to the Dropbox and I click on choose file, I'm gonna browse and it's gonna show me here my scanned annotations, which I'm pretty sure are these ones because it's the most recent one and it appears right there. And you do the same thing, add resource, and then it's there, okay? That's all.